Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. New Saqqara Sarcophagus Archaeologists recently made a shocking discovery in the Saqqara necropolis of Egypt. They came across a mysterious granite sarcophagus belonging to the royal secretary of Ramses II. Ramses II was the pharaoh of the 19th dynasty, king of Egypt from between 1279 and 1213 BC. His pinkish-red sarcophagus was found in the monumental necropolis known as Saqqara, located in the ancient capital of Memphis. Unfortunately, the lid was found broken, suggesting it had been looted. Like many of the other tombs in the area, grave robbers had likely tunneled their way in, smashed open the sarcophagus, and stole any treasures hiding inside. The discovery of the tomb itself was quite an ordeal. Archaeologists first found the entrance to the shaft at the center of an abandoned courtyard. The shaft led to a subterranean burial chamber, which then led to an even deeper square room. And from there, there were branches leading to a pair of empty rooms. Believe it or not, this keeps going. At the north side of the main room was a small opening in the floor, which led even deeper down a set of stairs and into the final burial chamber where the sarcophagus was found. Inscriptions within the chamber explained that the mummy within was the royal secretary. His name was Tom Weya, and he was also described as the chief overseer of cattle and head of treasury. The Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities says this man was one of the top government officials. They also say he is most likely responsible for the divine offerings given to the gods. Number 9. Rare Fossil Lisa St. Kerr Cormier is a Canadian ex-high school teacher who lives on Prince Edward Island. In August of 2022, she was walking her dog on the beach when she came across what would turn out to be a very rare treasure. Lisa first thought she spotted a branch poking out from the sand, but when she looked closer, she realized she was staring at a rib cage. She did a bit of digging and soon came across a spine and skull connected to the rib cage. She knew right away that she had found an ancient fossil. Lisa knew she had made an incredible discovery, but she never could have guessed just how mysterious this thing was. The fossil wound up being from 300 million years ago, belonging to an unknown creature that has been extinct for a very long time. Geologist John Calder says the creature lived before the age of the dinosaurs and that animal fossils from its time period are only found every 50 to 100 years. Unfortunately, we don't know what this animal was. It lived at the end of the Carboniferous period, a time when life on Earth was extremely massive. This was a time when insects grew to be as big as dogs in some cases. John says the creature was most likely a reptile or even a close relative of a reptile. But then again, he also admitted it could be a totally unknown type of animal never seen before. This means it might not be a reptile, maybe not a mammal, and definitely not a dinosaur. We're talking about a totally unknown life form that evolved 100 million years before dinosaurs ever came around. Number 8. Ancient Antarctica there may have been an ancient civilization living in Antarctica. This is what some experts are claiming after a strange structure was discovered in the melting snow. In recent years, the ice sheets of Antarctica have been melting at a rapid rate. As these ice sheets melt, they reveal the physical surface of the continent that has never been seen by human eyes. These newly revealed patches of ground are picked up by satellite images just like the images from NASA that supposedly show an abandoned human settlement. It was hiding nearly a mile beneath the ice. There aren't any structures in the images. Instead, the photographs capture curious markings in the snow that appear to be man-made. They look like the leftover imprints of buildings that had potentially been there thousands of years ago. Archaeologist Ashoka Tripathi from the University of Calcutta believes this is evidence of an ancient civilization. Ashoka says the marks in the snow are clearly from man-made structures and even resemble a pyramid. These are not normal geomorphological figures found in nature. These are straight lines, sharp angles, and things we only really see with human engineering. But the craziest part of all is that the images were taken after nearly a mile of ice melting. 
meaning whatever stood here had been frozen for a very long time. Number 7. Mass Whale Strandings Something truly horrifying was just discovered on the coast of Tasmania. In the summer of 2022, 230 pilot whales got into some trouble in the shallow water near Macquarie Heads and were found beached. A long stretch of sandy shore on Tasmania's west coast looked like the scene of a slaughter, covered from tip to tip with the rubbery bodies of whales. This wasn't a freak incident either. It happened twice this year. Just two days prior to this, 14 sperm whales were found dead on the coast of Tasmania. It also happened two years ago at the exact same time and in the exact same location, with even more whales having been found beached. Researchers are scratching their heads because they don't know what's happening. The Department of Natural Resources and Environment in Tasmania said that wildlife experts will be assessing the scene. Dr. Pirota, a marine expert, says whale strandings are a total mystery. What just happened in Tasmania is even more confusing because it involved hundreds of whales and it happened twice in the same week. We don't know if there's some kind of cataclysm going on in the ocean. Animals appear to be throwing themselves onto the beach in mass numbers. It looks like an environmental catastrophe, like a warning sign that the end of the world is coming. Number 6. Alien Goldfish This ancient alien goldfish was first described in 1973. For decades, this creature was a scientific enigma. Researchers understood that this creature came from the Carboniferous period and may have lived 358 million years ago, but its fossils were found to be extremely different from every other animal from that period. It became a running joke that the fossil was in fact from an extraterrestrial. The issue was that it didn't match anything scientists had seen before and really seemed like the bones of something from out of this world. But now, thanks to some recently discovered fossils in Montana, researchers have learned more about the alien goldfish. A new study has found that these weird critters had tongue-like structures in their guts that they could shoot out of their bodies like harpoons to catch prey. That may sound like something an alien would do, but it's a very similar feeding mechanism to that of mollusks, things like snails and clams. Most modern mollusks have similar structures, which are called a radula. It's like a spear on a rope that they shoot from their mouths to catch food. With the discovery of this mechanism in the alien goldfish, we can finally say with certainty that the prehistoric creature did evolve here on Earth. And now for number 5, but first want to give a big shout out to Mike Hazel and Aman Atefa. Thanks so much for your support. We wouldn't be here without subscribers like you. If you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 5. Life on Mars Speaking of alien life, we may have just found some. NASA's Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February of 2021. In the summer of 2022, it collected what may be the most important piece of evidence ever found in the search for extraterrestrial life forms. In late July, Perseverance took samples from the Jezero Crater, a shallow basin that formed 3 billion years ago as a saltwater lake. Digging through the mud at the bottom of what was once a pool of liquid water on Mars, the Perseverance identified organic chemistry. This means carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. These are main ingredients found in the most biologically rich environments on our own planet. According to project scientist Ken Farley, this proves that Martian mud in the distant past contained all the necessary ingredients for thriving life. Organic matter was found in sedimentary rock, the very same rock in which fossils on Earth are preserved. What this means is that if we keep digging, there is a fairly solid chance that we could find microfossils. Or even better, huge fossils of beasts billions of years old that once walked the surface of the red planet. Number 4. The Lost Van Gogh Conservators at the National Galleries of Scotland just discovered an entirely new self-portrait of one of history's greatest artists. They were inspecting Head of a Peasant Woman, painted by Vincent van Gogh in 1885, when they came across a secret hiding underneath the paint. 
It looks as though Van Gogh had done a self-portrait on the canvas, then covered it up with a completely different image. The mysterious secret painting was only found when exposed to x-rays. The experts at the National Galleries were shocked to see a bearded man wearing a hat and a square of cloth tied around his neck. Staring intently forward, the right side of his face cloaked in shadow. Although it's difficult to tell for sure, the subject does appear to be Van Gogh himself. It would have been painted just three years before he mutilated his left ear after getting into an argument with Paul Gauguin, another famous artist of the 19th century. Experts say he layered the whole thing with glue and cardboard, then started fresh and painted something else. The self-portrait, if that's what it really is, has been hiding under a layer of slimy cardboard for over a century. Number 3. The Etruscan Bath In the small Italian village of San Cacciano dei Bagni, researchers discovered a collection of fascinating artifacts. They found statuettes and coins that appear to have been left behind by Roman visitors. The Romans were visiting an ancient Etruscan pool fed by local hot springs. The mysterious artifacts were likely offerings to the gods whom the Romans believed were responsible for keeping the water in the pool hot. Everything about this discovery is strange and mysterious. The pool itself predates the Roman Empire, originally built by their neighbors the Etruscans 2,500 years ago. The Etruscans were the most powerful civilization in Italy up until their neighbors conquered them and they were absorbed into Rome. They had likely used the pool for ritual purposes. The Romans believed the hot spring offered relief for respiratory problems and was able to heal aches and pains. Because the natural bath must have seemed like a miraculous gift from the gods, those who used it gave as many offerings as they could. Over 3,000 coins have been found at the bottom of the abandoned bath, 700 of them still shiny. People even threw in statuettes of phalluses, wombs, arms, legs, and ears. The tiny statues of human body parts were likely to let the gods know which part was in need of healing. Researchers say the ears were thrown into the pool so that the gods would listen to their prayers. Number 2. Broken Fortress Archaeologists were excavating an old burial mound in Cyprus when they accidentally came across something even more ancient hiding underneath it. Under the mound of dirt was the ruin of a rampart and a defensive wall. For those involved, it was like discovering a tomb, only to find an even older tomb underneath. The current mound is huge, about 100 meters long and 60 meters wide. It was built about 2,300 years ago after the death of Alexander the Great. But with this most recent excavation, archaeologists found that the burial mound was, for some crazy reason, made over a broken rampart from 200 years earlier. This has been a really strange discovery. According to the Department of Antiquities Cyprus, the ancient people buried the rampart and its walls under roughly 13,705 cubic meters of soil. They did this for an unknown reason, and it wasn't like the work would have been easy. These people had to haul dirt and sand and silt from across the island, then pile it over 20 feet tall to cover the rampart. It's amazing to realize just how quickly things can be forgotten. The locals nearby had always known of the mound, but had only thought it was a natural hill. The villagers hadn't even realized it was a burial mound outside their town. Never mind, a ruined castle. Number 1. The Mysterious Denisovans Deep in the jungles of Laos, a tooth was found in a remote cave. Researchers say the tooth belonged to a young woman who lived 130,000 years ago. Even crazier, they say she was a Denisovan, part of a mysterious group of early humans only identified a decade ago by scientists. The Denisovans were a type of early human. They were different from Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, but still essentially human. The Denisovans are considered one of the most mysterious human species because we don't have that much information about them. The only definitive fossils have been found in North Asia, mostly in the Altai Mountains of Russia. And yet scientists have found genetic evidence of Denisovan DNA in the indigenous people of Papua New Guinea and Australia. 
Scientists believe the Denisovans were prevalent throughout all of Southern Asia. Researcher Clement Zanoli says the discovery of the tooth in Laos is a big deal. It could prove that modern humans and prehistoric Denisovans met in Southeast Asia 50,000 years ago. Not only did humans meet the Denisovans, but we also procreated with them, which is how their DNA lives on today. There are some people, primarily in Asia, who appear to have the mixed DNA of modern humans and our prehistoric Denisovan cousins. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!